This is Chris with always like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris with always and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll be down there in the description box, and I'm here to do my AEW Dynamite June 22nd, 2022 reviews. So here we go, discussing about tonight's Dynamite episode. We kick off Dynamite with Tony Schiavone. He's in the ring, and he introduces Brian Danielson. Well, he was going to interview Brian Danielson, but Danielson was like, I don't need you, Tony, I'll just... Go ahead and say what I gotta say. So, uh, he said he got some. He had got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is that he is not medically cleared to compete at Forbidden Door. His opponent for Forbidden Door was supposed to be Zack Saber Jr. and uh, and he was not able. And he's not able to compete at Blood and Guts uh, next week, as well against the Jericho Appreciation Society as well. So that's what he was saying, but he said the good news is that he'll be coming back. So yeah, uh, he said he can do everything else perfectly fine, like he could go running and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, he said he'll be perfectly fine, he'll be coming back soon. But then he said, uh, not only that, he has chosen an opponent for uh, Zack Sabre Jr. and to take his place in the uh, Blood and Guts match. And uh, the fans is chanting like, who, who, who? And Brian Danielson's like, oh, you guys want to know who it is? Well, as you guys know, I came out the, out the back door uh, entranceway. So I'm not going to tell you. And then you can find out this Sunday at Forbidden Door. So, yeah, that's what he said. So, yeah, uh, at Forbidden Door, it will be Zack Sabre Jr. versus a mystery opponent this Sunday. So, yeah, uh, we're going to see who that is. And Brian Danielson said, is one of the people that he trusts and all that. So, yeah, uh, that's what happened there. It was a pretty good segment, though. So, yeah, uh, mystery opponent for Zack Sabre Jr. this Sunday at Forbidden Door. And then after Brian Danielson said that, Zack Sabre Jr. came out and had a stare down with Brian Danielson. So, yeah, that's what happened there. But I bet that match would have been good between them two. It would have been, been like a 5 out of 5 classic, like a 5-star classic. Uh, I bet so, but... It sucks that that match won't be happening now. Uh, hopefully that match will be happening down the line, though, for sure. But, yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm going to uh, see who the mystery opponent is uh, the Sunday at Forbidden Door. But then we see John Moxley having talking backstage, and he was talking about how him and Eddie Kingston and all them um, is going to beat the hell out of uh, the Jericho Appreciation Society at Blood and Guts because of them taking out his tag team partner and, and all that. So, yeah, that's what John Moxley said. But it was a pretty good, uh, you know, promo from Moxley. It was pretty good. But next we're going to be seeing uh, Orange Cassidy and Rapungi Vice in action up next in a six-man tag team match. So, yeah, see you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a six-man tag team match. It was the first match of the night. It was Orange Cassidy teaming up with Trent Barretta and uh, Rocky Romero, Rupungi Vice, in a uh, six-man tag team match. And they took on the team of uh, Will Ospreay, Kyle Fletcher, and Ozzy Open. Uh, you, um United Empire in a six-man tag team match. And this match, it was really good. The fans was into it and everything. Uh, this match was wild. Uh, we seen Fletcher hit like a nice-ass power driver onto uh, onto Trent Beretta at one point. And he almost got the three count. Uh, at the ending of this match, we seen uh, Will Ospreay trying to hit like a moonsault on Orange Cassidy. But Cassidy moved out of the way. Os Ospreay uh, landed on his feet. And we see Will Ospreay and Orange Cassidy staring face-to-face -face outside of the ring. And then Rocky Romero jumped off the top turnbuckle with a crossbody onto Will Ospreay taking him out. And then we see Trent Barretta grab uh, Kyle Fletcher for, in a headlock position and uh, kicked off of uh, Ozzy and then hit the DDT, on Tornado DDT on the, uh, Kyle Fletcher. And then he tags in Orange Cassidy. And Orange Cassidy hit the orange punch. On to Kyle Fletcher and then pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, uh, Rapungi Vice and Orange Cassidy defeated United Empire tonight on Dynamite. That's what happened. And then after that, we see the IWGP uh, Tag Team Champions Jeff Cobb and the Great Ocon come out, and uh, you know they was going to take on 
So yeah, they picked up the win. So yeah, for that match, it was a really good match. I'll give that match uh, four stars as well. I'll give it. It was a great opening match uh, for the first for the first match of the night. So yeah, it was really great. And then after that, we seen we seen Jade Lethal talking. He was talking about uh, he was talking about Samoa Joe how he got to come up and defend the ROH TV title. Uh, because it's almost been a month now, so yeah, uh, he said Samoa Joe better hurry up and tape up that so shoulder and then come to face him. So yeah, that's what, uh, Jay Lethal said, but it was alright, promo package from there. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, now I forgot to mention that FTR actually did came out to scare off uh, United Empire, so yeah, that's why I forgot to say in the last part. But then we get to this one with the segment. It was Christian Cage uh, getting interviewed by Tony Schiavone. Schiavone was already in the ring, he calls out Christian Cage. Christian Cage comes up and Tony Schiavone's interviewing him, and Christian Cage was talking about a lot of stuff. He was talking about, like, why he attacked Jungle Boy last week on Dynamite, where it was because Jungle Boy eliminated him in the Casino Battle Royale uh, last year at Double or Nothing. So, yeah, that's what Christian Cage was talking about. He said he was pissed off because Jungle Boy messed with his money with a big-ass bonus and messed with his uh, AEW World title shot for to, uh, to try to win that Battle Royale. So, yeah, that's what Christian Cage was saying. And he said, you know what, he thought of an idea, how he could ride this train to pretty much, like, uh, be their manager and stuff. And uh, that's what he was talking about. And then he said that he's seen it slow down, like, Raptor, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus lost the tag team titles. And he said that was his chance to beat the hell out of Jungle Boy. So, yeah, that's what Christian Cage was saying. And then he was talking about uh, what he said to Jungle Boy's mom and sister last week, uh, and, you know, talking about uh, y'all raised a piece of shit and all that, uh, that they should never gave birth to him, and he was talking about how Jungle Boy looked at him as a dad, and, you know, talking about Jungle Boy's dad being dead and all that stuff, so yeah, uh, Christian Cage was just wilding on, uh, on Dynamite, so yeah, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, he was saying a lot of stuff, and then all of a sudden, Luchasaurus heard enough. He comes walking out, and he actually grabs Christian by throat, choking him and stuff in the corner. And then Christian Cage was like, look, I got something to say to you, Luchasaurus. And then Luchasaurus kept on choking him, and he was like, I think if I look at you as my son or whatever. And then Luchasaurus uh, lets go of him. He goes like, look, I do want to talk to you, but I want to talk to you privately, not in front of these stupid idiots out here. So yeah, that's what Christian Cage said. And then him and Luchasaurus walked out the ring to go backstage. So yeah, that's what happened there. And then we get another segment backstage with the Young Bucks and Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, O'Reilly was talking about Darby Allen um, pretty much injuring Bobby Fish's leg and Sting attacking him and stuff. And he said he'll give Sting the hands any week and then the Young Bucks are talking about how they will be at Forbidden Door and all that. So yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good segment. But then, now, up next, we're going to be seeing Malachi Black versus Penta up next on, on Dynamite. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. So, the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Malachi Black versus Penta Oscaro uh, in a one-on-one -on -one match. Winner of this match advances into the Fatal 4 match for the AEW All-Atlantic Championship uh, that happens this Sunday at Forbidden Door. So yeah, it was a pretty good one-on-one -on -one match. At the ending of this match, we see, actually see Penta hit a package power driver on the Malachi Black off the second turnbuckle, which was pretty damn nice. Fans was going crazy for that. Uh, Penta puts his arm over Malachi for the pin. One, two, Malachi puts his foot on the ropes, getting rope break and all that. Penta picks him up, about to hit his finish move on that Malachi, but he couldn't do it because his back was hurting, so he tries to hit a super kick on the Malachi, but Malachi catches his foot, throws it back down, and then hits Black Mass onto him in the back of the head, and then pins him for the three counts. So yeah, Malachi Black defeated Penta Oscaro tonight on Dynamite, that's what happened. So at Forbidden Door, it will be Malachi Black versus Pac versus Miro versus Ishii. Uh, in a Fatal 4 match for the AEW all Atlantic Championship. That's what's going to be happening now. But as soon as that match ended, we see Pac walking straight to Malachi and gets in the ring. But then we see Miro pop up on the Titan Trail 
and he starts talking, talking about uh, how the three things that he gives for it is God, gold, and his wife. So yeah, that's what he says, but he says he don't got the gold. So this Sunday at Forbidden Door, he'll go through all three of those guys to win the AEW All Atlantic Championship. So yeah, that's what Miro said. Pretty good promo though from Miro. Uh, but yeah, it was a pretty good match between Penta and Malachi. I'll give that match three stars. That's why I'll give it a pretty good match. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Hangman Adam Page versus Silas Young, one-on-one. -on -one. Adam Cole was on commentary for this match, and it was an okay match. At the ending of this match, we've seen Silas try to hit his finisher move, that springboard moonsault, and then Hangman moved out the way and landed on his feet, and then he hit the German suplex on Silas, and then as soon as Silas got back up, he hit the discus clothesline, got on the apron, and then hit the buckshot Larry onto Silas and then pins him for the three count. So yeah, Hangman Adam Page defeated Silas Young tonight on Dynamite. That's what happened. And then after the match ended, we see Adam Cole grab the mic and says it's story time with Adam Cole, baby. And then all of a sudden Jay White comes out interrupting Adam Cole. And he says, I want to apologize to you, but you cannot be my opponent for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Uh, he says, the only reason you can't be my opponent is because you lost against Hangman two times in a row. So, yeah, that's what he said. And then he goes like, well, and then he walks down to the ring. And then him and Adam Page starts brawling because uh, Page smacked the mic out of his hands. Both of them starts brawling. Adam Cole gets on the ring apron. Page knocks him off the apron. And then Jay White uh, takes down Adam Page. And then the numbers started catching up to him. They was both beating him down. But then... Uh, Kojuchika Okada comes out making his debut on AEW. He comes out, starts going at it with uh, Jay White and Adam Cole, and then him and Paige gets face to face, and then all of a sudden um, Cole got taken out by Paige, and then uh, Okada was about to hit the Rainmaker onto uh, Jay White, but Jay White ducks and quickly escaped out of the ring. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff, though. But for that match between Silas Young and Hangman Adam Page, I'll give it two stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a pretty good match, though. But then after that, we see uh, Jade Cargill, uh, Kira Hogan, and Stokely Hathaway talking backstage. And uh, Jade Cargill was talking about how she's still undefeated and how they would take on Chris Statlander soon for the TBS Women's Championship. So, yeah, that's what he was talking about. Uh, Kira Hogan going after Chris Statlander and uh, Jay Cargill going after Athena. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Okay segment, though. But, yeah, see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Dynamite. So, the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Tony Storm versus Marina Shafir one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Marina Shafir had Nyla Rose at ringside. And it was a pretty, it was an okay match between uh, Tony Storm and Marina Shafir. At the ending of this match, we seen Nyla Rose interfering in this match a few times while the referee had his back turned. But at the ending of this match, we see uh, Marina Shafir taking control, but hit like a pump handle slam onto Tony Storm. But Tony Storm lands on her feet right behind her, and then Storm rolls her up for the three count. So yeah, Tony Storm defeated Marina Shafir tonight in the one on one match. But then after the match ended. Nyla Rose and Marina Shafir starts attacking Tony Storm, beating her down and all that. And then we see Thunder Rosa coming down for the save, uh, drop kicking Marina Shafir off of a Tony Storm. And then Nyla Rose starts beating down Thunder Rosa, and then that's when Tony Storm comes back, uh, beating down Nyla Rose, and then grabs the Women's Championship and hits Nyla Rose upside the head with the title. And then she gave the title back to Thunder Rosa, and they were standing face to face in, in the middle of the ring. So yeah. That's what happened there. For that match, I'll give it one and a half stars. That's what I'll give it. It was an okay match. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'll give it. But then after that, we see Darby Allen and Sting talking backstage. And they was sending a promo talking about how they're going to take out the Undisputed, uh, the Elite Undisputed Era, whatever, uh, one by one, starting at Forbidden Door this Sunday. So yeah, that's what they said. But later on tonight, uh, up next actually will be the main event. It will be Chris Jericho and Lance Archer versus Eddie Kingston and 
I mean, not Eddie Kingston, John Moxley and uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi up next on Dynamite. So, yeah, it will be a tag team match between those two teams up next in the main event. So, yeah, see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a main event, it was a tag team match, it was John Moxley and Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Lance Archer and Chris Jericho in a tag team match. It was an okay tag team match. At the ending of this match, we see Moxley taking out Jericho, and then Lance Archer was trying to hit his fans to move the blackout onto uh, Moxley, but Moxley laying down on his feet, escaping it, and then he turns uh, Archer around, hits the paradigm shift onto Lance Archer. And then he tags in Hiroshi Tanahashi. Tanahashi climbs up the top turnbuckle and jumps off with the frog splash onto Lance Archer and then pins him for the three count. So yeah, Hiroshi Tanahashi and, and John Moxley defeated Chris Jericho and Lance Archer tonight in a tag team match. That's what happened. It was an okay tag team match. But then after the match ended, we see Jericho, we see Eddie Kingston come running down, brawling with Jericho, and then we see everybody coming down. Will Yuta, Min, um, Monroe, uh, uh, Suzuki, uh, JK, or 2.0, and all them. So, yeah, every single body came running down, brawling. But while everybody was brawling outside of the ring, we seen John Moxley and Hiroshi Tanahashi having a stare down in the middle of the ring the whole time while the brawling was happening. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And then Dynamite went off the air. So, yeah, with the match and all that, I'll give it two, two stars as well. I'll give it, it was an okay match. But yeah, uh, I'll be discussing about Forbidden Door this Sunday. So yeah, look out for those reviews. Uh, but yeah, for tonight's AEW Dynamite, I'll give it seven stars. That's why I'll give it. It was okay Dynamite. Match of the night, I'll say it was a six-man tag team match from uh, Orange Cassidy and Rapungi Vice versus United Empire. That was a really good tag team match. But other than that, tonight's Dynamite, for the go-home show for Forbidden Door, it was it was average. I'll say that much. Christian Cage segment was pretty good. Uh, like I said, the match tonight was pretty good. Brian Danielson segment was pretty good as well. Um, but majority of the matches tonight was kind of lackluster a little bit. Malachi Black versus Penta was pretty good as well. Uh, but yeah, like I said, majority of the matches was kind of lackluster to me. Uh, but some of them, some of them have, was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Dynamite for tonight, I'll give it seven stars, that's why I'll give it, but yeah, that has been my AEW Dynamite, uh, June 22nd, 2022 reviews, like, subscribe, subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Nails, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll be down there in the description box, and yeah, I'll see you guys later for this Friday's Friday Night Smackdown reviews, and this Sunday's Forbidden Door reviews. So yeah, look out for those, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.